Bonjour. One of the problems that I have right now in my game is that I lack enemies. Uh, so it's one of the elements that I need to work. I've, I've been playing with that ID for quite some time now and the, the thing that is missing is a system. Because basically there's two options, either you can reinvent the wheel or you can just uh, build something on what already exists. So for explaining my point, I have made a little uh, collage on a sprite about Hollow Knight enemies. So here, yeah, uh, well, it's, uh, it's not all the enemies of Hollow Knight, but uh, you have a good little selection. It seems to me that there is like three types of enemies, main enemies. There is enemy that crawls, enemy that flies, and enemy that walks. And here, that's what I've uh, put into place. So for example, the first line here is enemy that crawls. You can see that they all share feature a bit in common. Like they are subdivided in two categories. Uh, um, enemies that have legs and enemies that doesn't. So uh, enemies that have legs, they have quite a lot of multiple tiny legs. You see, you can see here, like they have like quite a lot of different legs, like be between six and eight on average. And uh, that's something that is already interesting. And you can see that uh, inside the, 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 the enemy that have like uh, legs, they also have uh, two categories, short legs or here, long legs. And this is where my point is, um, but I'm going to continue to explain. Uh, so here we have the flying enemies. Flying enemies, they all share something in common, which they have wings. And some have two wings, some have four wings, and the size of the wings is different. Some are short, some are long. And if you go to the uh, walking enemies, so the third category, all that one right here, uh, ah, <laughs> I can't select it properly. Voila, like this. All of them, they also share features. And the feature that they share is like they have two legs and two arms. And you can also see that there is variation in the length of the legs. And so this is where the system starts to be put uh, into place, if that, uh, if that makes sense. And so that's what I'm trying to look for at the moment. Me, in my game, Lone Knight, I have, uh, for now, two enemies. I'm gonna go back in the main, the main uh, level. I have two enemies. I have this one right there, which is just an, a static enemy that just jump and throw a, ball, uh, throw a bomb at you or something at you. Uh, it's a prototype. And I have the second one here, which is a small enemy that walks, he has a sword, and when you come uh, near him, he gives you a slash with his sword. So that's two types. And what I would like to do is I would like to uh, build more walking enemies like this. So for that, if I take a look at uh, the uh, Hollow Knight example, I need to uh, make some variation because you can see that they all uh, share same features. They have a sort of like a uh, round chest, they have sh short legs or long legs, and uh, they have like similar uh, pattern in their uh, face. So that's what I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to uh, get inspired by the thing that works in Hollow Knight and uh, use some of those recipes to make my game uh, better and also more personal at some point. And the thing is that I just recently uh, find an old design of an enemy that I've made that was quite cool, so I'm gonna show you a bit uh, what it is. So that's this one right here. And so this is uh, a little uh, enemy that I've made, I think like a year and a year or two years ago. Uh, and I really quite uh, like the design. I completely forgot about it. And uh, I'm like, that could fit actually the vibe of Lone Knight. I'm not sure about the color so what i'm gonna do is like i'm gonna just go here and i'm gonna uh, save it as a png i think it's gonna be a good thing and i'm just gonna test how it looks like in godot so like this i can already uh, see that if everything is working all right or not so let's see i'm gonna go back in godot and i'm just gonna go to my enemy world here and what i'm gonna do is like i'm gonna save it as another scene so i'm gonna call it Enemy uh, walking, I think I'm gonna call it walking underscore enemy, and I'm gonna put all of that in snake case, so like this is gonna be good. Walking enemy, and I'm gonna call it one, and I'm gonna save it like this. Voila. And so now I'm just gonna change the sprite here, I'm just gonna go to where my sprite is, so it is where enemies. It's my enemy seven, that's this one. So I'm just gonna go there, I'm gonna put it there, and I'm gonna put here things at one, uh, no, zero, or one, I don't know, 
like this voila so okay so the size doesn't look that bad first so that's cool uh and so now i'm just gonna go back to my main scene and i'm gonna put it somewhere so let's see uh i'm gonna put it around here so i'm just gonna come here main and i'm gonna attach that to that level so which one is this it is my level eight here okay so i'm gonna put that a working enemy there it's working enemy i'm gonna put it here <laughs> let's have a look it looks a bit big <laughs> looks a bit big uh, so i'm just gonna put my player as well this one here i'm gonna not this one ah oh my god uh so get my player put it here uh, i'm gonna put my player right there and so now i'm gonna try to see if it works so let's go oh, i'm just gonna take my controller so already it works so that's cool okay so like the uh, the normal system that i've put into place with the prototype of the enemy is working it's just that it flips uh, it, it is just flip which is normal because like this one is in reverse so i just need to go to a sprite and i'm just gonna do shift h like this and i'm gonna just resave it as a png yes so like that it's gonna automatically update in uh, in godot so let's see okay so i think i can keep that size so that's a good thing so now what I can do is I can uh, just start to work on the animation. And for the animation, what I would like to do is I, I would like to uh, be uh, doing something that is similar to the system of Hollow Knight, which is having slight variation of that same enemy. So for example, just for testing purposes, I've made like a small one uh, and like uh, I can maybe use this one for like um, making, pu putting it into like some specific places and stuff. I'm just going to do shift, uh, shift H like this but there's just one thing that is missing which is that i needed to also check the color so what i'm gonna do is like i'm gonna put a sort of like grayscale for my enemies something like this and i'm gonna put something like this here just so it match a little bit better the environment i'm just gonna save that as a png and i'm gonna go back to godot and let's see if it works better it's a bit too it blends a bit too much so i need to just make sure that this one here is a bit uh darker so something like this i have my camera it is just front of it so, yeah uh well, could be all right. could be all right let's see saving okay let's see that yeah this is actually working a bit better so that's cool okay so now i can start to work on the animation so for that what i'm gonna do is like i'm gonna just make a little time lapse of me working on the animation i will see you in a bit Right now, I think I'm good. Uh, I've made like uh, the idol and the work animation. I haven't made the attack yet because like I, I start to feel a bit tired. Uh, but it took me not too much. How much it took me? Like uh, 42 minutes or 30 minutes it took me to make that, uh, that animation. So it's not too bad. Uh, now what I need to do is I need to export that. So I'm gonna export it as a sprite sheet. I'm gonna go here layout i'm gonna put a fixed number of columns i think i'm gonna put four no uh four like this and let's see how it looks like it looks about right so yes and what i'm gonna do in the output i'm gonna put sprite sheet sprite sheet like this uh so normally it should be all right so then i can go back to godot and I can come to my enemy right here, so I can just select it. I can open that thing. So here I'm just going to change the name here. It's going to be working enemy one like this. I know which one is it. And so I'm going to just bring my sprite sheet that is normally right there. And I'm just going to export it. And now I'm going to remake a little bit the setting. So let's have a look. So I have four on the fr H frame and I have four on the V frame like this. Now I need to go to my animation and I need to make sure that on idol I need to remake my animation. So let's see. Let's see if it works. Okay, so I can put it on loop. 
Okay, looks about right. And on work. On work, I can delete this one here. And I can bring those here. I can bring it there like this. One, two, three, four. And then I can come here, the sprite, which one I am. This one, I can key that. Something like this. So now it should be all right. Uh, I'm gonna just take that here. Let's have a look. Seems about right to me. The animation is not fully perfect yet, but that's okay. Like uh, that's something that I'm gonna work on little by little. But right now, already I have a, um, an enemy that looks a little bit better, so that's good. I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna just go back to my main scene and I'm gonna launch the game. Yeah, the animation looks about right. Maybe I can uh, I can increase a bit the speed. I don't think I've put it as, a, as an export here, so what I need to do, no. What I need to do here is just to close this, and I just need to put my speed as an export. So here, this one is going to be at export var, so like this I can change it directly into the editor. Here, I think I'm going to put 22. Let's have a look now. Yeah, looks about right, looks about right. So I just need also to readjust the collision shape. So this one here, need to readjust it, something like this. And recast, which one is this? This one is this one, this one is this one. Okay, so this one I can move it a bit. This one is okay player detector, this one is the player detector, so very important one, I need to put it here, something like this, and it box, I need to also increase it, and then I can make the cosmetic aspect is quite done, and I can continue to iterate on like making that uh, enemy, so let's have a look, I can save, okay, Looks about right so far. There's maybe a little bit, a little problem right here. Let's see. Now it's all right. But when my player is around, I think my um, the collision shape of my player is like uh, sticking a bit to the the one of the enemy. So ah yeah, see, <laughs> I was right. So that's something I need to fix. But now I have like. Uh, I need to make attack, I need to change a bit the color of it, I need to uh, make the animation better, I need to put more details. Oh, okay, kill me. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. There's something there again, but like, this is a devlog, so like, I'm just like putting a lot of things uh, into place, and then after that, I'm just like um, perfecting my craft between scenes, so that's the things. But that's good, that's good. So now, what I can do uh, is probably it's not something that I'm gonna do in that devlog because it's gonna be too long, uh, but that I can uh, take the animation that I've created here uh, for like the small enemy, and the small enemy, hold on, tuck, voila, the small enemy right here, I can. <laughs> do something a little bit uh, different so, so it looks a bit silly right now so i need to make a better design but uh, now i think i have like a better enemy for that level so that's cool so like uh, again like little progress but like steadily like um, i'm making like progress that make me like really like uh, do something with the game so i'm very happy about that but anyway me i think i'm gonna go now because i feel a little bit tired uh, but uh, thank you for watching if you want to wish us the game link is in the description obviously and uh, me I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.